changing the oil in my 2017 Chevy Colorado. I'll walk you through the steps needed to drain the oil and change the filter and uh, get you back on the road. So first of all, this engine is a 3.6 liter V6. It is the LGZ version of this motor, it's slightly different than the previous LFX. So this is applying to 2017 and up V6 motors, just so everyone knows. This vehicle has a drop-in oil filter that is accessible from the engine bay, and it's right down in this area here. It's hard to see now. I'll, I'll shine a light on it before, but it's behind your, your fuse cover box to the right of the engine on the driver's side. You drain the oil normally underneath, like on the bottom of the oil pan, like a normal car. We use the Mobile One 5W30. Specification for this vehicle is six quarts, so I've got a five quart jug and a one quart. I also have an AC Delco um, OEM filter. This comes with the drop-in filter. Also an O-ring gasket that you need to replace on the oil filter cap. And I'll show you where that's at. To do this, you're gonna need a couple simple hand tools, a 15 millimeter socket that's to loosen the, the drain plug, and then a 24 millimeter socket to loosen the oil filter cap. And you probably need some extensions to uh, get access to the, the oil filter cap. So let's drain this oil. All right, guys, from underneath the truck, the oil drain plug is on the passenger side of the engine, um, right there, you can see. And um, I have a hunch it's gonna wanna arc out pretty far. So make sure you aim uh, your drain pan correctly so that you don't end up with a bunch of oil on the bottom of your garage floor. Also, go ahead and loosen your oil cap. And as you can see, it does say 5W30. So that just helps uh, not create a vacuum when you're draining the oil. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil now. All right guys, I've got the oil drained. I always like to let it drain as much as I can. Why not? So I'm gonna let that drip for a while. All right, and then once it's done, you know, dripping for the most part, just make sure you check out the mating surface. Make sure there's no, uh, nothing on there that would uh, hinder the making a good seal with the plug. And then check out your plug. There's a little gasket on these. Looks okay. I'll probably eventually swap this out for a magnetic plug though. I've had them in the past, just never got around to buying one. So then go ahead and replace your oil plug and snug it down. Alright guys, the next step is coming to get this oil filter, which is kind of buried. It's kind of in a pain in the butt spot. It's on the driver's side of the engine. It's that black cap there and it's a uh, 24 millimeter socket. So you'll need an extension to get down in there, you know, remove that. But all these wires kind of move around, so you'll, you just have to kind of play to get it out. So after you get the filter out, this is what's left over. And uh, you can see inside the, the housing there, there's like a little stem. And it's got like a valve on it. you got to be sure you're not going to break that when you are reinserting the new filter. And when you pull the filter cap out, this is what it looks like. It's all kind of one unit. Your filter is kind of locked into the cap there. The gasket you need to replace is right here on the filter cap. The filter has these prongs on top that kind of sit into the top of the, uh, the filter cap so that it locks it in there. So when you put the new one in, you need to make sure that it kind of you know, locks in with these tabs. So the new filter sits in there, it's locked in. I replaced the, the gasket there, the washer, and then I can go ahead and reinsert this and tighten it down. This is just plastic though, I'll just let you guys know. So when you're going to tighten this back down, you need to be sure you're not uh, gonna break it off. So I got the filter cap reinstalled and I hand tighten it as far as I could and then I use the socket to, set, to tighten it all the rest of the way. And like I said, that's just plastic so you don't need to torque it down a crazy amount. The next step is filling the oil. As I mentioned before, the capacity is six quarts. So I'm gonna start off with my five quart jug first and then check the level and then move on to the last quart. Uh, 
Now to check the capacity, you need to come on to the passenger side. There's the dipstick, the yellow plug there. And here's what the level looks like after the five quarts, and obviously that's still draining down into the pan, but after the one more quart, it'll be to the top of these hash marks and we should be good. Don't forget to button up your oil fill cap, and then go ahead and give it a start up. Don't forget, reset your oil life monitor in your driver control center. Just like that. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Later.